Okay, so we have a triangle here and we wanna find the angles of this triangle. So this is a uh, basic geometry and stuff that uh, everybody uh, should know and it's not that difficult. So you can see our angles here, we have two X that represents uh, one angle. Then I have another two X, so these are obviously the same angle. Then I have X. So uh, to solve this problem, you're gonna need two things. One, you're gonna need to have some basic knowledge of the properties of triangles. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into that in just one second. And you need to uh, have some basic algebra skills, not that difficult. So if you're at the, you know, maybe middle school, certainly at the basic algebra level, you certainly, you know, you need to be able to handle this problem. So I'm gonna walk through the solution to this guy here step by step in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. That's a pretty bold statement, and I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses, ranging from uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus. But I also have uh, many uh, courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, high set uh, task, uh, maybe the um, ACT, SAT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, Alex exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing school entry exam. There's tons of exams. And guess what they all have on them? Math. So uh, people think math <laughs> are pretty important. If you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on these exams, okay? So all these exams have dedicated math sections to them. So I can help you prepare. Just go to my site, check out my full course catalog. If I don't have your exam, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. Then obviously I help those of you that are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, um, if you're truly serious about wanting to learn math and improve, now, if you're not serious and disregard this, but if you're truly like, yes, I need to learn, I want to learn, then you got to take great math notes, okay? So I've been teaching math for decades. This is the one thing that I can point to with consistency, all right? There's a lot of traits for uh, students that are going to do well, but the one thing I can point, on, you know, through all those years is that those students who have great, fantastic math notes almost always end up having great grades. And the reverse is true. I haven't had many students who've gotten like A's, A pluses uh, that had like poor notes. Okay. That's especially at the more advanced levels is almost impossible. Okay. So this goes hand in hand with uh, being successful in mathematics. So the, the reason why notes are so important is because notes reflect how well you're focused in class. Okay. You can't have outstanding, comprehensive, detailed, awesome math notes by being somewhat focused, okay? If your focus is like this, sometimes you're focused and then sometimes you're checking your cell phone, sometimes you're focused, sometimes you're talking to your best friend, sometimes you're focused and sometimes you're doing uh, your work, you know, in another class, okay? You're like, oh, my, I'm, uh, my biology class is next. I'm gonna do my biology homework. Listen, I made all those mistakes and more way back in the good old 1980s, but guess what? I ended up with grades like that, okay? So if you truly want to do well, you know, in mathematics, you got to be focused, not only just math and anything, okay? So work on your notes and everything will get better, I promise you. Now, in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Now, if you think you know how to solve it, go ahead and pause the video and uh, get your solution because I'm going to cover exactly how to do this right now. All right, so the first thing we need to know is a little bit about properties of triangles. And the most basic property that you, uh, when you're talking about triangles is the following. Obviously, a triangle is a three-sided closed figure. Technically, it is a polygon. It's a polygon, a three-sided polygon. But really what I want you to know is this, okay? Everyone wants you to know that the sum of the angles of any triangle add up to 180 degrees. Any triangles. You can have a triangle like this. You can have a triangle like, like this. It doesn't make a difference. If I take this angle, add it to that angle, and this angle, I'm going to get 180 degrees. If I take this angle, add it to that angle, to add it to that angle, I'll always get 180 degrees. So that's the first thing we need to know, okay? That this angle plus this angle plus this angle will be equal to 180 degrees. Now, uh, once I know that, basic property, then I can 
write myself out a nice algebra equation and solve for this missing unknown value, x. Okay, so this is the way we're gonna do this. So what you wanna do, if you wanna kinda of try this yourself, is you wanna um, write an equation that expresses this. So it would be 2x plus 2x plus x is equal to 180 degrees. You can write that algebra equation and then solve that respective equation for x, and then you can answer this question. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, but I'm kind of giving you the setup if you want to kind of try this. If you needed a little bit of a hint, this is, you know, pretty much beyond a hint. This is exactly what you need to do. Okay, so let me go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so again, we have x, uh, 2x plus 2x uh, plus x. Now, if I wanted to be truly technical about this, I could put like, this is these are degree measures. Okay, so I could put this in degrees, put that little notation, but hopefully that was kind of intuitively implied. All right, so here's our equation. So we're going to take 2x, that's this angle, plus 2x, that's this angle here, plus this x right there. All three of these, the sum of these three angles is going to equal 180 degrees. So it's 2x plus 2x plus x equals 180 degrees. So basic algebra, I need to solve for x. So 2x, and I have another 2x, that's 4x plus another x, that's 5x is equal to 180 degrees. So how do I solve for x? Pretty easy, all I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by five, and that's what I'm doing here. x is equal to 180 divided by five, so 180 divided by five is 36, okay? So x is equal to 36, but we're not done, okay? What does that mean? Well, let's go back up here to our diagram, okay? So let me just draw this a little bit here. We know that x is equal to 36. Let me put this a little bit clearer. All right, so we just solved x is equal to 36. So this x up here is 36, but we are talking about angle measure. So that's 36 degrees, okay? But I don't know these other angles. I wanna find these angles. So these angles are 2x. Well, if this is x is 36, 2x would be two times 36, and that's what we need to do. Okay, so 2x is 2 times the value of x, and, and that value of x was uh, equal to 36. So 2 times 36 is 72. Okay, so really what we have here is our bottom angles. Remember, they're the same, 2x and 2x. So that's 72, 72, and 36. And if you wanted just to double check that, you can go and add these up. 72 plus 72 plus 36, I assure you, adds up to 180 degrees. And these are the angles of this triangle. So this is a pretty classic, pretty standard uh, geometry problem. But, you know, one that's going to, um, you know, uh, have you use your basic algebra. So if you're taking high school level geometry and whatnot, and you're like surprised, shocked, like, hey, we're doing algebra and geometry. Yes, there is uh, algebra within geometry. Not like super advanced algebra, but there is some algebra. Okay, remember algebra is the language to solve for the unknown, you know, these variables like X and Y, we need algebra. But hopefully, you know, this problem was, uh, you know, kind of demonstrated that this stuff doesn't have to be complex, right? I mean, we certainly need to know something about triangles and we need to know something about algebra, but it's, but it's, it's not beyond anyone's ability to learn, okay? You know, the only way this is going to be difficult to learn is if you're kind of halfway paying attention. Like, I'm kind of learning, and then, oh, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, oh, let me try to catch up. If you cannot learn math in that manner, okay, where you're kind of learning it, and then sometimes you're, you know, kind of, you're in and out of the room mentally, you know. <laughs> so here's the math, here's your math class, here's your teacher teaching. You can't be, like, stepping out of the, mentally out of the class, doing something else, and then walking back in, and then stepping back out, walking back. That's effectively what's going on with your focus. Then your focus is not there 100%. You might as well just walk down, take a stroll down the hallway, or, you know, do whatever, then come back in and, you know, be, try to pick up where the teacher's, you know, left off. It's not going to work, okay? But mentally, you might be physically present, but if you're not mentally, you know, there, you're not going to catch all this stuff, okay? So again, everything I tell you here, I'm telling you from long years of experience. If you watch my video, you're clearly interested in mathematics. So most of you probably are students. So I'm going to really emphasize uh, the key to, uh, to success in mathematics. Again, notes and uh, focus. 
All right, now uh, with that being said, if this little video was entertaining or useful in some way, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand videos, basic to advanced mathematics on my YouTube channel organized in these uh, uh, various playlists, okay? So those videos are there for you. If you like my teaching style, then that's excellent. Then all of these other videos you can use to improve, but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.